Ran out of gas. I need a gas. <laughs> I done jerked off a hobo and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, had, he had all that change in that hat. And, uh, <laughs> Next time you do that, think what I said. You're like, yeah, he's a bourbon, bro. He jacked off a hobo before he nah. did this. <laughs> <clears throat> that's, that's, that's cool, man. That's tight, man. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and, and to think, like, uh, I got into bourbon because we bought a, a new house. Well, new to us. <laughs> and um, we had a housewarming party, but we've been married before we were married, you know? So we had yeah. everything. So we had a, the housewarming party was a stock the bar party. That's cool. And so people brought all this shit. And I was like, man, I need, I want to, like, buy bourbon. And then it fucked, it took over. I've seen your collection. It took yeah. off from there. You bro. got some shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Badass. But it's like, man, I, I need. That's the last thing I need is something else to start collecting. That's what I told him. Right I said, enough. dude, uh, my my fucking dumbass spends a lot of money on sneakers, bourbon, and fucking cologne. Like, when I like shit, I fucking I'm excessive as fuck. Yeah, and fucking that's hats. Said, bro, that that's that uh, addictive personality, bro. Dude, dude, I went to buy it. Like, I, I haven't bought one. <laughs> don't, do <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> but uh, I haven't bought a cap in a while. Like, I've always, the caps, like new caps I've gotten, are like gifts. Like Jennifer will buy me. And I went to the mall the other day just because I needed a new Yankees cap because, you know, it's my team. I refused to spend fifty dollars on, on a new era. How much they on are a fifty nine right? fifty, dude? You I remember said, they were twenty three bucks. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now they're fucking fifty. Bucks. Fifty dollars, dude. And, and Jenner's like, get one. You need one. I'm like, I just can't do it. You're like, I just couldn't do it. New, I, new era gets me, bro. They send me the the new collection, the email. So now they got the baseball mascots. Have you seen that hat? Mm-hmm. Fucking bought that one, and then they had the corduroy. Bought that one. I'm like, fuck, man. Mm-hmm. They get me every yeah, they fucking get time. You, bro. Get you I out. need to find like one of those like uh, Asian companies that makes the the, the knockoffs, the reps. Would, the we've had gate. this conversation about <laughs> sneakers, bro. Would would it's, you really rep a rep? A cap? Yeah. Just you would. Mm-hmm. I would. Well, but what, like, what if you like? Okay, I get it. It looks legit. Feels legit. But then, like, you sweat in it. And it Stinks like yeah. It just depends on the quality, dude. Yeah. Because there's high, high. Uh, that's all I'm standing for reps now. But uh, like, there, <laughs> there's high quality reps out there now. Where, yeah. the, okay, the way I had it explained to me, it's like uh, they're made in the same factories, the same materials, everything. So, for example, let's say they're uh, unauthorized. Yeah, just say you're a plumber, right? Yeah. So you're a plumber. You work for this company, but after hours, you'd be like, hey, call my cell you're phone number. Pipe. You half know what I mean? Price. Half price. You know, you they call your cell phone. You go and do that off the clock. You're using the, your own the same tools, every same materials to do the same job, but you're doing it on your dime. That's kind of how I was explained to me that like these rep companies, they're using all the same materials, but they're doing it themselves as opposed to doing it through the Nike factories yeah. or whatever. So, so then, like, how do these, um, like eBay? Mm-hmm. How do they? I think they're full of shit. Dude. They're you supposed to be so? doing so full that of shit, authenticity yeah. thing, but I don't think yeah. they do, Like, bro. you think they're full of shit? I mean, there's ways you can tell, like, because uh, I've bought a pair of reps just to compare them to, a, like, I had the real the real Jordan, and I bought a rep just to see. Dude, I mean, to, shit. yeah, to the naked eye, you can't tell, man. Unless man, you're I, one I of these. Bought, I bought some shoes off of uh, Goat, and they refused it because they said, man, this not, it didn't pass. it's not real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, there's certain shoes where you can tell, like, the stitching's off or something. Mm-hmm. But do you, like, I've seen, like, especially with those Jordan 3, the the reimagined, the 3s, mm-hmm. the white cements. Dude, they, the quality was shit from oh, Nike. Nike. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you see the the ones from, like, these uh, these rep factories, they're better quality than the ones mm-hmm. from Nike. So, I mean, it's just one of those things, like, it. I want to, be, but I don't want to compromise the integrity of my, my shoe collection yeah. by mixing in That's reps. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then if you're really rocking some heat and you've already been outspoken about wearing reps, how's anybody going to know? You know, mm-hmm. like, oh, he might be, he's got those Travis Scott's on, but he's already admitted he buys reps, you yeah. know? So my niece is, like, starting to get into sneakers big time. And, uh, you know, anything she asks for, my mom's going to fucking buy it for her. But she refuses to let my mom buy her shit off of, like, Go or uh, at StockX. So she's looking at, like, replica sites, and I'm like... Like, baby, don't buy those. Like, don't. Because I just don't know, man. And then Not only that, kids bro. Like, suck, you probably won't bro. even get the product, bro. They'll just take your bread and run. You know what I'm saying? But not only that, but kids suck. You know what I mean? She's at school. Yeah, that's roasting. different. Those are yeah. fake. Exactly. That's like, what I was going to say. It's different. Like, like as adults, we're not... I mean, I'll, I'll take pictures of my shoes and stuff. Because to me, they're, like, art. It's weird. I feel like they're pieces of art a lot of times. Like, like today's, like, uh, Air Max Day. Everybody's posting pictures of their Air Maxes. And, yeah, and yeah. you show up in Reeboks. How dare you? 
I'm just messing <laughs> with you. Man. I'm just messing. With you. But uh, it's like uh, it, to me, they're art. So yeah. if I post a picture of my shoes, it's because I just think that it's a beautiful shoe or whatever. A lot of kids are doing it because they want to flex, mm-hmm. you know. And they're like, "Oh, look, I got I got these these Travis Scotts. They're nine hundred dollars." But so if you're doing it for that reason, somebody's gonna call you out. Yeah. If you're wearing some fake shit. You What's know? the most you would spend on a pair of shoes, bro? You're asking the wrong guy. You, this dude would go bankrupt on a pair of shoes. I've dropped yeah. some coins on shoes. <laughs> man, but I've never... Okay, I so... I can't push over two, bro. Really? Nah, I can't do it. Man, I don't know what the most expensive I'll buy the knockoffs. <laughs> you've dropped what... Uh, I've dropped, you've dropped big money on some sneakers. I've dropped 500 yeah. the most at a time. Damn. Yeah. For one but pair, the worst thing, dude, now is like freaking, yeah, Afterpay, bro. So if, oh, I'm, if, if I do it through Afterpay, I don't feel yeah, as guilty yeah. as just yeah. dropping it all at once. And they you know? know what they're fucking doing, <laughs> yeah. bro. They know what they're doing. Man, if they had Afterpay back in the day, shit, it'd be on, yeah, bro. So I, know. We, I don't we, feel we, as we guilty. We already had Afterpay at Kmart. I know, right? By the time you get the layaway out, bro, it's already out of style. You know what I'm saying? It don't fit no more. Hell no. You don't gain... 30 pounds. We were just talking about this. Y'all got a huskier? <laughs> Huskies don't do it no even more. Even more huskier? Hell yeah. We were just talking about this not too long ago, but I used to get all my clothes from Montgomery Ward. I read Montgomery because Ward. Because they had 12-month layaway. You remember that? Damn. So Did they really? You had to yeah. wait a whole year. Yeah, so. <laughs> we get next year's clothes. Yeah. We would get. He's he shopping for 8th grade and 7th grade. <laughs> That's bad but, but to me, I don't know. Like, I kind of kept up with the fad, but I didn't really give a shit about Oh, that's last year's clothes. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I, I was never like that. But stuff didn't go out of style that fast nah, back then. Nah. You know, like Jabot stayed uh, stayed in style forever. Tommy, as long as he had a Tommy. Hell, hell it's still in style. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I remember back. I had like a faded ass Tommy and some faded ass Jabot's because I wore the hell out of Me them. Me too. Uh, and you got to tuck colors. it in remember so you see colors? the tag. Cross colors? Bro. My first pair of Jabot's was at Miller's Outpost, bro. Remember that store? I remember. It was at the yeah, mall, yeah. yeah. Miller's it was at the Outpost. mall, right? Yeah. And they were fucking green Jabos. Some green ones? And I fucking rocked them like they were, because they were fucking Jabos. Did they have the white tag fuck? or the black tag? No, I think they were the white tag. The white tag, yeah. so everybody that stands out more? Like, Hell yeah. I remember my fourth grade teacher had them on, and we kind of clowned them. We were like, look at this dude with straight pockets. Look at Mr. Cossett <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And we were I like, what the him, fuck? Bro. Yeah, Mr. Cossett. I Cossidy. saw him at... Uh, at Sam's the other day. Damn, he's still doing. You don't he's remember a principal, right? I don't know. Or he's like on the nah. administration board now or some shit. No, I think he was a uh, ISS teacher. What no, no, now like. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think like he's on the board. Oh shit! Yeah. Good for him. Talking man. about the fruit. <laughs> the fruit. Is, the Is fruit. he? I think he's fruit, bro. Oh, oh fruit. shit! Yeah, makes sense. It all <laughs> makes sense now. Bro. There was a we talked about uh, at your house on Saturday about the teachers fucking the kids and shit. Oh yeah. I truly, where were they at I, when I was? I, in I school, truly you know? believe. I truly believe that I could have fucked my eighth grade science teacher, bro. Uh-uh. Like Mr. Uh, Reno? Uh, Miss Smith? Her name was Miss Reams. Miss Reams. She was only there one year. Oh okay. So she was there your seventh grade when year I was if seventh you knew grade. her. Mm-mm. But um, she was always fucking with me. And then looking back, I I know that what the fuck she was doing, but. Always fuck with She's me, grooming bro. me. Always I remember Miss Waters, bro. And then she I took mean, me outside. Too, yeah. She took me outside on a one-on-one, and she was like, John, do you have a girlfriend? And I was like, no. And she goes, okay. And then we went back inside, and I was like, what the fuck was that about? Oh, okay. She gets out of but I want I want <laughs> I still want to mess with you, but if you have a girlfriend, it's, I'm going to leave you alone. Like, but that's where she draws the nothing line. Nothing ever became of it, but she would still fuck with me. And then, like, the next year in ninth grade, it was Mr. Casades was like, uh, I talked to Sharon yesterday, and I was like, the fuck is Sharon? Uh-huh. And he was like, Miss Reem, she was asking about you. And then uh-huh. I was like, man, I bet I could have fucked that. Was she hot? <laughs> yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty hot. hot. Yeah. I just remember uh, Miss Juarez was hot, and Miss Trevino was hot. Everybody mm-hmm. loved Miss Trevino, huh? She was a Spanish teacher, wasn't she? Uh, science, I oh, think, science. maybe. Miss Juarez was Spanish. Who was a Spanish teacher Ms. that was? Miss Juarez. Okay, Miss Garcia. Juarez. No, I don't remember the science teacher then. I'm thinking Miss Waters. She was like the cheerleader coach. Miss Smith? Smith. Not nah, Miss Waters. Or Miss Trevino. Oh, yeah. Dude, she's busted now, bro. She's still oh, teaching that friendship. Well, when she started um, working at, uh, at Cavazos and in love with Kai, uh, she was fresh from uh, Texas Tech Yeah, Yeah. She, mm. was, God yeah dang. she was fucking beautiful, yeah. man. I don't, I don't remember, remember Miss Smith. Smith. What'd she yeah. teach? Science. Science? Yeah. And she went to love with Kai? Yeah, she, she was at like Cavazos and I, then Lebukai, right? Yeah, she was at Cavazos first, and then uh, she was, was she at Cavazos when we were gone? Uh, probably because I, I had her in the eighth grade, okay. so I, I cannot yeah. remember if she was there when I was in the seventh grade. Uh, but then she—I uh, don't know if she was still teaching science. She might have at at, at uh, Lebukai, but 
she was like the gym the gymnast yeah teacher, yeah the, right? da- the uh, dancer dance. yeah, whatever she did. the fuck she they did in that now. motherfucker yeah because yeah. i know she moved to love too jazz hands <laughs> her spare spare fingers, fingers. <laughs> Dude, she's like 4'11", right? Yeah. Five foot tall. Oh, I, I remember her. I, dude, I used to she hype was her up, height. bro. The good one. <laughs> hey, that's the best height. I used to hype her up, bro. And then my girls went to Frenchman. They're like, is this the one you're talking about? I'm She's like, all... All busted now. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's not her. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, the one that I was yeah. talking about was twenty three years it's, old it's with big other tits. One. Yeah. It's the other one. <laughs> and big old areolas, silver dollars, homes. <laughs> sack of joey is goddamn. I, I don't Jewish. know who the fuck this fifty year old lady is. <laughs> hey, she had the JFKs, the she, fifty cent piece. Oh. She, she had the sack of la bolsitas. <laughs> <laughs> Them areola grande. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she had. Oh, Dude, what the fuck is up with Nickelodeon, bro? Did y'all see that documentary? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Dude, Dude everything. Hey, Nick at Night. <laughs> yep. That and then Diddy going, like all that stuff going down with Diddy. Who greenlit all this? You know what? I have a theory, bro. I, I think. Okay, I think what ha- what's happening because dude, everybody knew about Diddy, right? Everybody yeah. knew. Like, if you're yeah. in the in music industry, it's just one of those things. You know how he is, and everyone just, looked the other way. Yeah, like in, in same podcasts, thing with R. Kelly. Radio shows, like everyone just looked the other way. And he was kind of protected, right? So what I think is happening is he's he was suing that company, that a uh, Ciroc company, because he didn't own Ciroc. He was like kind of like a like maybe the face of it and stuff, yeah, and like maybe a partial true. owner or something. But there's a bigger company that that owns Ciroc, and he was trying to sue them. But did he? Uh, all right, Chinga, I see what you did there. And they, uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> really, really, really. <laughs> and so, uh, that he, was tight. <laughs> he, 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 he tried suing them for like some some stupid shit, dude. And I think what happened is they're like, all right, dude, you know, if you want to be like, like they're like real Illuminati, like people with real money. Yeah. You know, like the yeah. Brofmans, you know the Brofmans, right? They're the ones that had they own Seagram's Gin. They were part of like that Nexium cult and all that stuff. Do you remember that Nexium? Whatever cult? happened to that that scandal? He's in, he's in got, prison. That dude's in prison. Under the rug, that Keith Rainier dude, he's in oh, prison. Oh, okay. Okay. But like the Brothmans <laughs> were the ones bankrolling that. The daughters, they're from the they're the Seagram's Bro- Brothman. They're the ones that uh, own like Seagram's Gin. Hmm. But anyway, like they're like big time, big time. They're money. old money. And so I'm thinking, what happened is like the Diddy was protected this whole time, and then when he kind of turned his back on them trying to sue them and now they're like all right then you know so so you think any of these allegations are true or i do or, yeah. I, yeah i think they're true yeah, i think he's been known I to think be every single shit. one of them is yeah. dude it's crazy yeah. though like <clears throat> you know like how you like all of these dudes they claim to be from the hood like nobody really knows you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but like if you were to land a like a multi-million dollar deal like that do you think we would flake out and be like them bro i wouldn't it's dude. crazy right how money makes them like it just they just turn weird, bro. So yeah. I kind of think that there is something to it, like you said, like mm-hmm. the Illuminati or, or something, bro. That's, something that's going on because I don't see how, like, if you give a dude from the hood money like that, bro, he'd probably go broke before he goes crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, look how I act when I get my income tax. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you throw me a couple little racks, bro. Yeah. While he's at, out, he's at, yeah. uh, much Brian less millions trying to buy that cow. I, know, I, I would like, like to think that you personally, you have a bigger heart than I do. And I would like to think that I have a huge heart. That money wouldn't. That you would, you would do the Cat Williams thing and like say, no, nah, that's. I would. Yeah. Dude, we talked about that on a, on a, the the deep dive. We kind of talked like, like it, it, there's not an amount of money, dude. Because I mean, if you're rich, you still won't be able to look at yourself in the mirror every day and yeah. know how you got that money. And just fucking mm-hmm. over. And people, I think that's man. why a lot of a lot of people are so depressed. They're on drugs all yeah. the time. Because yeah, they're rich, but they're they're they're. It doesn't always bring happiness, bro. Exactly. You know what I mean? Well, you're, yep. you're just living in that in that house, which ends up now being a prison. You mm-hmm. don't have no friends. You don't have no real friends. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, but it's but it's crazy though how like money could draw people in, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, because for sure. Whenever I had money, bro, I would take people out, bro, and it was always on me, bro. We go out to eat. I'm paying. We're going bowling. I'm paying. We're going to the club. I'm paying. But then the moment you have that an entourage, kind of. Yeah. Kinda. yeah. The yeah. moment that I fell into my to my addiction and then started like. You know, I didn't care about the money no more, bro. Like, nobody was around, bro. Nobody, nobody checked me. on me. Nobody, bro, at all. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which is cool. I mean, you kind of see what it is at that point. You know what I mean? They're doing because you a favor. Time. You know, yeah. they're, they're weeding themselves out yeah. of the equation. But it's crazy, bro. Like, money will bring the roaches out, bro. You know what I mean? Like, this girl, you know, she does dogs too, bro. And she had put on Facebook, man, I'm trying to move a, a few dogs and everything's free. Hit me up. Let me know. 
And then her next post was like, man, this sure did bring the damn roaches out. Y'all motherfuckers ain't getting shit for free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's crazy, bro. Like, and the that tells that you, you who's put, watching. Yeah. There's real. nobody liking your shit, they won't support but that tells you, but you who's watching. Yeah. Bro, yeah. that's Dude. so true. Like, you'll, you'll get a, on a video, it'll, you'll get like 500 views and 10 likes. Yeah. yeah. And you're it's like, crazy, bro. It takes a second to hit yeah. the like. It's yeah. weird, man. But here's the deal. Like, y'all are rich as shit. All of y'all. And y'all invite me to go to dinner or lunch all the time. Dude, I, I got to pay mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. for myself or I got to pay the next time. I can't be that person that's like, oh, he's got it. He's got money. Let's but you buy. always see it. those people that are like yeah. that. I, I don't Just know. running up like, a tab because they know got, somebody I else is going to pay like for that, it. Bro. We got friends like that that they got bread. And every time we go out to eat, like, we kind of hate going out with them because we know they're going to pick up the tab. And we don't go because of exactly. that. But they beat us to the punch, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like on the coup. He'll slip the, the waitress his his credit card and be like, hey, I got this. You know what I mean? So he's always got it. And then, you know, one time uh, one of my homeboys said, nah, you know, I got it this time. You know, let me get it. Mm -hmm. He said, man, bro, I shouldn't have said I got it. That, Y'all that take after like pay? $500. <laughs> Y'all take dude. after but, pay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they, they like to do it big. But, you know, I, I'm, the, I'm the same way, bro. Like, I don't want to be... They're not that type of people that they're like, oh, they're just here because we got money or whatever. Yeah, but they're yeah. just like, they're... They're generous. They're, yeah, they're money. generous, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? They got it, but I hate to be that type of person, too. You they know introduced I mean? me, bro. Yeah, I got you. Bro. <laughs> did, <laughs> did you ever hear that story about Burt Kreischer partying with, um, um, God dang it. I just went blank. The Walmart crash uh, comedian, black dude. Oh, um, God dang, now I can't remember his name. Tracy Morgan. Okay, did you ever Tracy hear Morgan. his story uh -uh. about partying with uh -uh. him? Uh-uh. He said that Burt Kreischer wasn't yet Burt Kreischer. Uh -huh. So he goes out to New York, and they're like, yeah, Tracy Morgan, you know, they, they link up. He's like, yeah, come party with us. He said that uh, he brings out, like, bottles, 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 and then it's like a 20 grand ticket, right? He said Tracy Morgan immediately starts fucking fighting and just, like, throwing off his shirt and fighting and get kicked out. They all get kicked out, and they're like, what the fuck is a... We didn't have to pay that twenty grand bill. Oh, 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 that's badass. It's you, like, know, hey, you know what he was doing, huh? Hey, for, but man, yeah, everybody yeah. knows who that fool is. Yeah. Man. It'll catch up to him. That's yeah. a tight move, though. That's like, crazy. I'm gonna punch you. Just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny, bro. But yeah, dude. Uh, anywho, uh, you said I wanted to address this fucker. Um, Air Max Day, right? Yeah. I'm getting plantar fasciitis in my. Uh, it I sucks see. getting old, bro. Like, yeah, I, I hate waking up with a new fucking body ache, bro. It's always something else. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like these motherfuckers are the most comfortable. For they're that, still fresh for that AI stuff, yeah. Yeah. Uh, And so I'm like, yeah, I'm rocking these today. But that's just me, dude. I, I make shoe contact before yeah. I make eye contact. I go, this fool wears Allen Iverson's on yeah. Air Max Day. But I, I, I would hate to disrespect Air Max Day like that. But also, too, your favorites are ones, right? Mm -hmm. Dude, they are the most uncomfortable they suck, dude. shoe. They feel, Air Max. Sometimes fa they feel good. Sometimes fashion. Yeah. 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 Air Max fashion ones? is pain, man. Oh, no, no, no. I thought you were talking about the J. No, because today's Air Max day. Oh, okay. Mm. So, yeah. Fashion's it, pain sometimes, yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. Like, fucking beauty's pain. Fuck really that, is. dude. You know what sucks, too? Because, like, I keep all of mine fairly new. Yeah. You know, because, I like, as soon as I wear them, I wipe them down, put them back in the box. So I never really break them in. And mm -hmm. like, it, when you break in a pair of Air Maxes, okay, then they're they're fairly comfortable. They're still not that comfortable. I'm talking about ones. They, ones, the yeah. The ones they fucking hurt. No, they 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 just look nice. <laughs> they, they suck. They're, dude. they're not comfortable at all. But fuck, man, we're ready to start the show. We ain't even started the start fucking show. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah, we ain't started. Media, media, media. 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 Okay, here we go. All you ladies, pull your chi chis out. This is the JP Lopez Show. Also, if you're a transgender, pull your pecker out. This is the JP Lopez Show. What is up? Thank you for tuning back into the JP Lopez Show. I got the fucking podcast pros in this motherfucker, man. So, um,. Eric is basically damn near a co-host, and I got, <laughs> I got Ramos in the studio. What's I got up? my boy Zimmerly back in, dude. What's up? What up? The what feedback up? on your fucking episode was was yeah. pretty That's pretty good, up, dude. It was good. It was a good show. Hey, uh, real talk. Uh, so we were driving back from a. Uh, we had took my daughter to Grapevine uh, to that Great Wolf Lodge, and so I'm driving back listening to y'all's episode, 
And I'm like crying, dude. I'm like, I'm teary eyed, <laughs> yeah. you know, because it, it just made me start thinking about like my relationship with my dad, you know, mm-hmm. and I relate a lot to what the way you are with yours. Yeah. You know, and uh, so I'm like, I'm kind of tearing up. And Jennifer goes, are you okay? Because you know? she knew I didn't feel good, you know, because I was just getting over COVID. She goes, you all right? You all right? And I'm like, oh, I'm just listening to some shit right now. These fucking dudes over here got me all in my feelings. Yeah, I heard, like, I heard your episode. That was, like, was a good episode, dude, I had man. to call my dad. I had to call my kids. But, man, you know, if that's what it takes, man, you know, you got to do what you got to do, bro. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because you never know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like You got to love them while you got them. Here, I, told, I told my yeah. wife, I said, man, you know, there's so many times that, we turned down the invites from friends and family because we're so busy. We're busy. I said, man, you never know, bro. Yeah. That might be the last time you ever get that invite. Yeah. You know what I mean? You say that, and it brings a guy to mind, my boy, my boy Pancho. That dude's always invited me at the wrong times, you know? Mm-hmm. And, like, I always feel bad because I always tell him no. Like, either I'm at work overnight or, like, this morning he invited me to breakfast and I was just falling asleep because I worked overnight. And I'm like, man, I... I it, I thought about it. I was like, this dude always invites me. Like, I need to fucking start inviting him when I'm available, yeah, you know? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, so, shout out Pancho, man. But I wrote a letter to my... I don't know if I told you this, but I journal to my dad. Like, I talk to him like if he's still here mm-hmm. in my journal. <clears throat> and last night, as a matter of fact, I'm journaling to my dad, and I was like, you know, Pop, I wonder what my episode would have ever been had I had you on as a guest. Yeah, that would have been and bad. I, and and yeah. it wasn't until then that I thought about that mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. subject. And I was like, I wonder how different my life would be if he was still alive. Yeah. Because he had just, just switched the fucking, the dad switch off. Because mm-hmm. he's like, my son's got his shit together, friend, you know, yeah. all that yeah. good stuff. And now, became my friend. Yeah. It's like he had mission accomplished. He raised yeah. her to be a man, yeah. a good husband, yeah. and all that stuff. And so now he can be. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like. Man, you know that that's a good way to deal with grief, bro. Because one of my one of my friends, he's a he's a pastor, and he does like grief counseling and stuff like that. And he said that sometimes, you know, whenever you have a loved one who's passed, like suicide or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you don't really understand why. He said, man, a good way to do it is to write letters to them, like as if they were still here. Because, <clears throat> you know, whenever you're conversating with somebody, you get cut off, and then your mind wanders off, this and that. But whenever you're writing a letter. You're just in your thoughts, bro. You know what I mean? You're writing down everything that you want to mm-hmm. say, and then you kind of think about it. You write down more yeah. than what you want to yeah. say. Mm-hmm. Not too many times you go back and erase. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a, it's a good way to, like, get your yeah, words I've across. Yeah, I've got a, a big... I've, well, I, I've got, like, my wife buys me journals, and I buy journals. I've got a fuck ton of journals, but i got one specifically that I write to my dad in, and um, it's it's damn near full, but... I, I've never heard that. I just mm-hmm. started doing that on my own That's when he good, passed. Man. That's badass. And um, I just did that. And I never told no one. Probably like a year past his death, I never told anybody. And excuse me, my sister's real big into curanderas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And she talked to a medium and she called me. And she's like, uh, hey, I talked to dad. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to hear this. You're like, cheater. You, know I mean? uh, you did the easy you know way I mean? out. Like, yeah. like cuz I. <clears throat> I kind of half-assed believed in them at the time, you know. Well, I never told anyone this, right? And she goes, um, <coughs> excuse me. She goes, Dad told me to tell you to don't don't stop writing him. Oh, dang. And I was like, what the fuck? Wow. I go, what did you say? And she goes, I don't know. Dad said for me to tell you not to stop writing him. And I, I never told her wow. that I write to my dad. That's crazy. That's wild. That is crazy. Now she's gonna hear this and be like, "Yeah, Dad said, you know, yeah, pass my, my books. sister, my sister don't listen to this shit. <laughs> uh, said, my mom does, but not my sister. Uh, she's gonna start plotting on you, yeah. dog. Dad said if you got uh, two hundred fifty, you got a death. <laughs> they, they he said something paid. about some store <laughs> called Sephora. I don't know. He said, you know, we need to go. Dad said something about Ulta or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, was that, you, were you were talking about you were talking about on y'all show how like your uh, your daughter like that's where she's kind of like when y'all cleaning her room out. She's mm-hmm. she's kind of getting rid of the toys and stuff that she likes going to yeah. Sephora. for. Yeah, dude, that's my little seven year old man. And it's wild, she, bro. It's I think crazy. it's because of YouTube. I'm assuming, right? When we were at it, when we were at Grape uh, at Grapevine, they have those outlet malls, and she's like, "Dad, can we go to Sephora? Like, I knew it was a makeup store, but I didn't really think it was that type of makeup store. Dude, it is crazy. And so I bro. told I told Jane, I said, "Y'all go ahead and go in. Uh, they have those massage chairs nah, out there. You got to go in, bro. To, like, you're to right. Cut it off, yo. Like, hey, nah, nah. So your kid goes to Friendship or Cooper? Cooper, right? Friendship. Friendship? Nah, yeah, she's dating okay. the dude. Uh, okay, so Cooper. is it is it like friendship and Cooper 
specifically or is it LISD? Because I just recently found out that my friend is buying like, like Ulta and Sephora and nails and pedicures and shit for her daughter. That's like an elementary, bro. Yeah, and my daughter is like in, like, fourth grade right now, bro. But is that? Because I don't think she's she seven, that. dude, and she, she's. Dude, I'm telling you, I what sat the in the, fuck? I sat in those, those, my, my daughter, uh, yeah, that the those chair. chairs, yeah. And I was, and I said, I put in five bucks. I was like, surely it gave me twenty minutes. Like, surely Jeez. it's enough time. Still well, then uh, uh, my daughter comes out. She goes, "Hey, Dad, uh, can you get, can Mom have your your debit card? She left hers in the car." So I was like, "You know what? It's 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 finishing up. I'll go in there and pay two hundred fifty dollars." Hell yeah, bro! They I was like, "Why does my up. seven year like she had a lip gloss, but and it was a Christian deal?" Did you say yeah. lip gloss? Uh, I might have said glip yeah! gloss. <laughs> I might have said Dude, I said pissed glip. off my wife because I, I was like, "Oh, your glip gloss." gloss. She's like, she she gets so <laughs> bad. My glip yeah. gloss, my glip gloss. And, <laughs> and I was like, it was like some shit you would have seen on TV because I went to pay and the lady bring it. I go. I was like, I'm sorry, did you say 250? And she goes, yeah, yeah. And I was, and I was like, 250? Like, I almost caused a scene, dude. 250 <laughs> fucking She's dollars. crazy, bro. And it was just like a little bag of shit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's like a $40 glip gloss. They were like, this thanks, sucker. I mean, yeah, sir. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> and I told her, I said, hey, the rest of this trip, don't ask me for shit. Yeah. Like, we ain't ever going back to that damn store, dude. I had no idea, day. man. So we went, we went in there, right? And my wife said, hey, me and Atiana, my older daughter, we're going to go to Lulu. And Bree's fixing to check out here. So I'm like, all right, cool. She said she's got, she's got, they got their own little debit cards, right? So they're a little copper. So, and then she had a, a gift card to there. Your daughter goes to Lulu. Man, dude, they God got, dang, bro, like. I it, could not it, have a daughter I can't, now. I, can't I thought let, I could, but fuck I can't no. let my wife and my and my girls go shopping, bro, because you gotta that, go that's to, what they do. Yeah. And they're, and they're always like, why do you want to hang out with us? I'm like, bro, because I got to put it into this. My bad, bro. You know I didn't mean to cut y'all. So anyways. No, but yeah, so we're in line, bro, and. Like, just that one little transaction, bro, like 60 bucks. Her gift card was like 25, and she put the rest on her card. And I'm like, God what dang. the hell, bro? It's Yo, crazy. I had no yeah. idea, man. I had and she's no talking idea. about, oh, this is what I've been looking. And it's YouTube, bro. I've been looking at it on YouTube. And I'm like, dang, bro. That's what it's it's a wild. different day, bro. Uh, mm -hmm. at, imagine asking your dad to go pay your $250. Dude, like, let's come up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's why, like, I've, I've talked about it before. That's why I like sneakers so much, dude, because my parents wouldn't. I'd buy. Oh, me too. I would get Reeboks, but the, the regular ass ones you could get from Anthony's, you know, mm -hmm. the, like the nothing special. So they weren't like Payless. They were still like a name brand, but it went on the fancy. But I would mow lawns all summer, bro. My dad would take me to mow lawns, and I would save up to where I could buy a pair of Jordans or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And that's why I've got a special relationship with sneakers to this day because they're more than shoes to me. So, but that's why I had to go and mow lawns. I'm not. They're gonna give me a hundred bucks for a pair of shoes. So sneakers are art to me. Mm -hmm, same because of that same fact. We go buy school shoes in the summer. Mm -hmm. There ain't no fucking good shoes in the summer. And then, so seventh, eighth, and ninth, I get, I get a decent pair, like you know, uh, whatever's there, a hundred bucks, you know what I mean. But that's it, bro, for the whole year. Mm -hmm. So then I'm playing basketball in that same fucking shoe. <laughs> You're doing everything in yeah. that shoe, yeah. But then Christmas is the new Jordan, the like the the they, Jordan, they the it. next year Jordan. Yep. And then Shaq came out, and then the Barkley, and then Sean Kemp's, the and Penny everybody, Hardaways. everybody's got these new shoes around Christmas time, and I'm like, Patrick Ewing's, bro. I'm still oh, the Ewing's, stuck yeah. with that first, that one school shoe. Yep. So when I became older and they're retroing these shoes, I'm fucking buying them Same. because that's my fucking childhood. But I don't even wear them because they're art to it's me. It's because you couldn't buy them when you were younger. Yes. A lot yes. of shoes, because I'm not, I'm not crazy yeah. about high tops, you know, but like a lot of the shoes growing up were like mid tops or high tops. Yeah. And that, I buy a lot of those and they sit there because they're just shoes I couldn't buy when I was little. Exactly. So now that I'm as an yeah. adult, I'll buy them. <laughs> and I've said it a million times, but my wife, when we lived in our old house, would walk into my shoe room and I'm just there at like four in the morning just reminiscing looking yeah. at the shoe and she's like what the Bring fuck are you memories. doing go to bed yeah. and i'm like all right i'll be in back i'll be in bed here in a minute yeah. but i'm just like man i remember in seventh grade i yeah. wanted this motherfucker <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep yeah did you ever wear a kohans or loafers i couldn't do it bro. you couldn't do it i, I tried bro I. but i couldn't do nah. it i would the 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 most edgiest shit I ever did was Doc Martens. You got the Doc Martens? But everybody, right. like, Kohan, and, like, I was like, nah, I had those GBX man. with the big ass With the rings, rings on them, dude. The I remember the, hey, those, <laughs> were, those were fire. Lugs, Lugs, Lugs had those, too. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those GBX yeah, yeah. were fire. You remember, remember the B-Boots? Was what? GBX the B -boots? at Buckle? Mm -mm. Y'all remember the B-Boots? B-Boots? Nah. I think that's what they were called, B-Boots. What would they look like? B-Boots. GBX was at Buckle, right? They were expensive, And at Journey, and then when Journey opened up. Yeah. 
Dude, I remember those, man. Like, all the cool people had the, the GBX boots. Dude, we always talk about sneakers. I never hear. Did you give a fuck about sneakers growing um, up? No, not really. Um, I, uh, I, as a little kid, the only pair of shoes that I really, really wanted that I never got, and I never got anything, but I, uh, I wanted the, uh, the air ones. The, uh, oh, the up tempos. The, yeah, they were the Scotty Pippins. Yeah. yeah, So I want. I really, really wanted those. And then we were at the store. My mom uh, said my limit was seventy five dollars, right? And I was like, "What about these?" And they were like one hundred and fifty, right? Even back then, they're expensive. Yeah, yeah. And they were double your limit. Uh, yeah, double my limit. Let me get one like, shoe. Nah, 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 nah. And you're not getting that. So then, about I don't know, maybe um, ten years ago. I was at the, in the mall, and I don't know why the fuck I was at the mall, but I was like, I'm going to give me a pair of shoes. I need me a pair of shoes. And so when I was walking uh, through uh, Foot Locker, I, uh, I, was, I, was, I walked in there, and I was like, looky, 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 and I saw the fucking airs uh, on the wall, and I was like, I grabbed them, and I looked, and I was like, oh, shit. And I'm just staring at them, right? Mm-hmm. And um, uh, You're lucky when, they didn't sell out, bro. Well, I think they just put them fucking out there, oh, okay. and like I don't even know. Right I don't even know yeah. if they're whatever, and they're just sitting on the fucking wall. And then uh, uh, the dude uh, that's working there, he goes, "Can I help you?" I said, "Yeah, size 12. and uh, and I made a, a decision right then and there. I, like, I don't need to try them on. I'll take them. And so uh, he, yeah, he brings them. Uh, he brings them out, and I open them. And now they're two hundred dollars. So, uh, but like one hundred and fifty and ninety six and two hundred yeah, in yeah, two thousand twelve yeah. or thirteen, fourteen, whenever the hell. I, but I basically, found you just said like like why me and Ramos are in it. Like yeah. we didn't get those ones. We yeah, to, and man. so that's the only pair of shoe that I ever saw that I thought it was just because I didn't know a lot about the shoe or whatever. I knew Jordan would wear the, his Jordans, but it wasn't my my yeah. my thing. Well, like thing. oh yeah, yeah, man, I need yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, but I, when I saw those shoes, I wanted those shoes. I thought they were the coolest shoes I had ever seen right up to that moment. And so, uh, when I got them and, uh, I, um, I bought them real quick and I was like, put them in the fucking bag, bro. Let's, and he, it was like a, this fast, yeah. right? Like you didn't have you, to think about it. You're it yeah. He, he, he went to the, I told him, I said, I need this in the 12. He goes to the back. I said, go ahead and ring it up, man. Boom, boom, boom. I pay for it. Get the fuck out of there. And I walk out, and I'm like, I feel like I just did something illegal, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I, I have these motherfucking shoes yeah, right yeah. now, right? And then I get to my house, and I put them on, and I was like, fuck, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I, was, I was so fucking happy I had them on. And then uh, my mom was making food, so I go into her kitchen, and and um, the rest of my family. Are they the black ones or the white ones? No, they were actually red. Red? Yeah. They were the red ones. I, shit, if they, they were, were the, the black. Bulls colorway. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so... Um, I uh, walk in and and uh, you know they're giving me shit about my fucking shoes. Those those things are ugly, whatever. Shit. And then my mom came up to me and she was like, "Those are the ones that you asked me for when you were when you were young." She knew, yeah. And I was like, "Yeah." She goes, "I couldn't buy them for you." Oh, I yeah. said, "I know." It, I said, "That's it was why tattooed I bought it on her brain." Yeah. yeah. Hey, so, I said, so back then, how did we how did we know what was hot and what was not, bro? Like without East Bay. East Bay. That in a freaking uh, that that show NBA Inside stuff with the oh, modern yeah. side. They, they would show like the the deals because see I don't remember and that, bro. Fresh Prince and Martin, dude, a hundred percent. Yep. Fresh they Prince always had the best kicks, dude. Yep. Yep. Who? Okay. Who? It's a it's a on, we, I've, I've got two debates I want to settle here that are in my group uh, with uh, our, my DMs with me, Mad Genius, Little Mike, and my nephew Xavier. Who had the best kicks and who was the best athlete between Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson? Oh, Bo Jackson. Bo by Jackson. Far, bro. Yeah, that's Bo why Jackson. I say Bo Jackson. Bo yeah. Jackson, yeah. dude. Yeah. And that, that's not to shit on Dion. Right. That isn't. But I always but said between Bo the two, Bo Jackson, yeah. bro. Yeah. 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 It has to be Bo Jackson. Yeah. I got to go with the power over quickness. Yeah. I do. Now, now the greatest cornerback of all time that's ever lived from then and now. Ramsey. <laughs> it, it, it is 100 percent prime time. Oh, for sure. Uh, the only thing that prime time could not do is tackle, and we didn't need him to tackle no. anyways, right? Well, you say we, but he was only or a part. We, of we as we. a fan. Oh, we okay. as a oh, fan. Talking about we when he played with the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant as a we. Cowboy fan. Be- because yeah. if you if you were not a Cowboy fan, Atlanta fan, a 49er 49ers. fan, you were still uh, a Dion. Deion Sanders That's fan. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and, sure. and I'm talking about we as we watched him play football, uh, we we didn't need him to get 
any tackles. Yeah. Right? You know, because growing up, you I, I didn't have a team. I like I liked players. You know yeah. what I mean? I didn't have oh, like yeah. a. I didn't have all like that. I'm a Cowboys team. fan, or I'm Damn, a. Damn, how did you not have a team? Bro. I didn't, dude. Damn. I mean, by, a, by default, I'm a Cowboys fan growing up because yeah. all my family's a Cowboys fan, you know. So, but I, I just like different players, man. Like especially so, like in the '90s, dude. I was all about was so, just the there players. was a lot of good players, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, I had, really I had favorite teams, but uh, I also had favorite players, mm-hmm. and I was gonna watch all of those fucking mm-hmm. players. Yeah, I remember for about three straight seasons, I watched every single playoff <laughs> NBA game. And I did not miss any. I'd fucking race to the house and just put my ass down. Uh, if it was a quadruple hitter, I watched yeah, that's all four. Do, watched yeah. all. Yeah. Uh, so, and then TNT day. had uh, two games. TBS yeah. had uh, games, and I'm yeah, I'm yeah. watching all of them. So everyone says, "Are y'all college football fans? Are you a yeah. college?" So everyone says that Reggie Bush was the greatest college football athlete. Let me ask They've him. never fucking seen Rocket Ishmael. <laughs> Rocket Ishmael. That motherfucker. Played for Notre, is, Notre Dame, right? Yeah. To this day. Yeah. 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 Notre Dame. By far the greatest college football athlete I've ever fucking uh, seen. I'll, I'll, I'll beg to differ that Reggie Bush was better than Herschel Walker and and Bo Jackson. Yeah. That he he was he, he was not even better than Ricky uh, Williams. Wa- uh, Williams. Williams. Yeah. So Rocket uh, Ishmael was. A phenom. Dude. I think that's yeah. why he made the Notre Dame jersey so popular back yeah. then. Yeah, Probably. because of him. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he he was fucking. While we're on this whole nostalgic shit, dude, let me ask y'all real quick. Do you remember the greatest ass whooping you ever got from your parents? Dude, I do, bro. How much time you got? You do, man. I I got caught smoking, bro. Well, cigarettes. I, got, well, I didn't weed? get caught smoking, but I uh, cigarettes. I didn't get caught smoking, but I got caught with a pack of cigarettes in my. That's in all my, it took. Yeah, that's all it took, bro. But <clears throat> back in the days, so I live right there on, on Harvard Street, right? Right across uh, from that Flint Baptist Church down the street from Stinnage, right? Yeah. So there, there used to be a gas station on Clovis and, uh, mm-hmm. and Flint. You remember that? Mm-hmm. That Where little the car wash is that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, the, car, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. the store's not there no more, but. It wasn't even a, it was like a pay at the pump, wasn't it? Uh, Afterwards. Well, now, it, now it started it, off as a store. It had a little store yeah. right there, oh, okay. bro. Like a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of a store. Right, so my mom would, would write a letter, bro. You know, I don't know what she would write, but she would give me the letter with money, and I'd go and buy her some cigarettes, Salem 100s, bro. That's what it was. So I kept, I started keeping the notes. Oh, you know shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fucking yeah. smart, dude. Yeah. I started keeping the notes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bro, like, how crazy You've been a hustler though, from the rip. <laughs> but, how, but how crazy it though that they would sell cigarettes to a freaking little ass kid, yeah. bro. Uh, yeah. 10 years old. You know what I mean? It's because they, your mom, the mom, your mom was probably a cut. Like, she, they had yeah. a, a, a friendship or like she knew, Man, hey, I'm, I'm going to send my son hell in there. Yeah, bro. So I started keeping the, the, the notes, right? And then my, my neighbor, bro, Chris, he said, hey, man, you still got that note? Like, yeah. Well, let's go buy some cigarettes. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. So that's how I started doing it, bro. Hey, you, you blew your cover when you bought Marble 100 instead of the Salem? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, hey, you hey, you know, wait a second. <laughs> you know, I had to do the Salem's. <laughs> Hold on, your mom smoked Salem's, fool. Yeah. <laughs> why you at? Why you asking for Newport? Day, bro, uh, my neighbor, uh, the, I don't know, they, I guess they had like a family night. We were watching Gremlins. We're, like his, I remember his cousins, brothers, sisters, everybody's in the living room watching Gremlins, and I'm like, hey. You want to go smoke a cigarette, bro? Oh, shit. So we go to his grandpa's truck, bro, and we're laying down on the bed, bro. How old were you? Like 10. 10. Like 10 years old, bro. Oh, bro. We're sitting back there, like, smoking, bro, like, just clouds of smoke coming out of the bed of the truck. We're laying down. <laughs> we look like Fred. Uh, like, on Friday, remember Fred uh-huh. getting smoky laying down? When they're hiding? <laughs> Hell, yeah. So we're sitting up back there smoking, bro, and then I remember I go home that night, and uh, I put my little cigarettes by my on top of my coma that right. And then Saturday morning, bro, like you said, man, everybody gets up. We start cleaning house. Shit, bro, I was crashed out, and I, I remember, like, just opening my eyes and seeing my mom, white, like, dusting my deal, and she seen the cigarettes, bro, and she grabs them, and she puts them down, and she takes off. <clears throat> so I already know what it is, bro. Yeah. She's telling my dad, so I get up, and I get dressed. <clears throat> and so we have this old-ass refrigerator in the backyard, bro, and I go, and I hide in there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> He knows where I'm at, bro. And he pulls me out, and I'm over here trying to hold the door shut, bro. And he yanks on it, pulls me out, bro, and starts whooping my ass. Damn. Damn. You should have went down the street, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know, bro. I'm, I'm hiding in the backyard. Like, I didn't go very far. You should have cracked your eye and be like, Ma, I got you those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I, you, I found those in the front yard, Mom. I think <laughs> yeah. you dropped them. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was saving them for you. Yeah. And then I was I trying remember, to save uh, a trip. But I got caught with, uh, with my nephew, bro. Same thing, man. We're in Fort Worth smoking. But he, when his mom caught us, she made him eat them, bro. Uh-oh. The whole pack. Oh, shit. And then beat his ass. 
while he was throwing up because he was eating <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> God damn. 20 pack Chemical of Marble Reds. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking nicotine poison. Yeah, yeah. Man, I know. He was shitting them out dude. later on. Yeah, <laughs> dude. My dad swung and it hit my chest, my ribs, my neck. Damn. Just getting it everywhere. I'm like, bro, I learned this from y'all. What the hell? You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's y'all's note. <laughs> it's y'all's <laughs> note. Hell yeah. It's mom's note. Hell yeah. Do, do y'all remember the when the <laughs> braided belts mm-hmm. came out? You loop them around? Like, no, like the leather braided belts? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, because yeah. you would get them yeah. like a couple yeah. sizes too long, and, and you would hang. like put them, and you'd like kind of loop it, and then let it hang down. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. that now. I just wanted a braided belt, mm-hmm. and... You know, my dad's like, Bush, you ain't getting no fucking belt. You're getting the one with your last name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got that belt. <laughs> You're from the flea market. Yeah. Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. Lopez on the back. With the two fucking guns. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And those belts are badass now that I think about it, too. But I, I hate it. It's the only belt I had growing up, too. I don't want your Pearl Snap shit, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I go to Walmart with my cousin, and he goes, Hey, dude, um, put that belt on. And... I'm oblivious to the, the to his fucking. He's way ahead of me in his he's whole plotting. in he's his plotting. criminal fucking <laughs> skills. So I was like, oh okay, and I put it on, and I was like, yeah, it fits. And then I took it off. He's like, no, 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 take it off. He goes, leave it on. And I'm like, How nah, old are you? man, I'm in fourth grade. <coughs> That's too. So uh, he's like, leave it on, leave it on. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm not gonna steal this shit. So I'm like, tell him I'm not gonna steal it. And he's telling me, dude, just take it, just take it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm going to tell, I'm going to let him think that I got it, but w- later on, I'm just going to take it off and, and like, just leave, leave it, it somewhere. I fucking forgot. Oh, bro. hell no. I forgot. He had been in Walmart for like an hour, man, uh, still with, with, with his mom. <laughs> like with his mom. So uh, we fucking, we go get checked out. And at the time we're checking out, I remember, like, fuck, I got this belt on. But I mean, we're already. Checking out, yeah. I'm like, fuck, Let's like, see what fuck. So, dude, we walk out, and they fucking grab me and my cousin. They've been watching y'all? <laughs> yep. They grab me, and they're like, hey, y'all need to come with us. And it would have been nothing, bro. It would have been nothing. But his mom, my cousin, made a fucking shit show. Get your fucking hand, blah, blah, blah. And, like, a big shit show. Well, they call the cops. <laughs> the fucking cops come, and they're like, uh, we got to call your dad. Because, I mean, obviously... They weren't my parents, mm-hmm. and I already fucking knew. I'm like, man, just take me to jail. I'm Don't like, dude, I'd rather go to jail, yeah. man. <laughs> so my dad shows up, and yeah, he pick, he picks me up, and I go home to the biggest fucking ass whooping of my like the epic. He would have fucking like the Super Bowl show of ass whoopings. Dude, really? He gave me, bro. <laughs> yeah, he fucked me up, dude. Did you tell him what happened? He's, he didn't care. He don't care. Yeah, he don't give true. a shit. He's I'm like, over here trying better. to be reasonable about <laughs> yeah. it, but uh, you're right, yeah. dude. Uh, I got a, I got, I talked about it before, man. Uh, I got spanked my junior year in high school, dude. Spank, spank, bro. My dad spanked me. Cause I, I remember, remember you told me. Yeah, like, cause, uh, in the front yard. I, in the front yard, in front of all the neighbors, dude. Cause uh, I was a. Uh, it was when I was dating. Uh, it was when I was dating Audrey. Yeah. I was dating, and I was already in trouble, man. But cause she lived kind of close to me, like across from the Malincha. Yeah. And so uh, I was already in trouble. So when Ray, I would get Ray. grounded, I would uh, huh? Reyes. Uh, Sendejo. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was my girlfriend in high school. And so, uh, but I was grounded for my car. So they'd always just take my keys or whatever. And I remember, uh, like, uh, I don't know, I guess I just wanted to go see her. So I, so I told my dad, or I told my mom, I was like, hey, can I go to the church and go pray the rosary? Because I would pray the rosary a lot. I really would. And uh, You knew the cheat code? Yeah. No. And so I'm using God, I'm using, <laughs> I'm using God to go and, go and get a French kiss, you know? And so, uh, <laughs> and so uh, I, 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 I was like, I knew they would let me go if I told them that. So I did. I went to the church, and I prayed the rosary. And then on the way home, I uh, I stopped at her house, you know. And so I guess my dad, was he either knew or he followed me. And uh, sure enough, man, I'm driving home. And, uh, dude, I'm getting out. Like, he can't get out of the car quick enough. So I pull in. <laughs> He's like, he's like, it's like he opens the door for all you. in one motion, dude. Gets out of his car and like <laughs> pulls the belt out in one thing, and he grabs me, dude. Like my dad's not a big guy. Yeah. Like he has my like my arm up, <laughs> and I've got my backpack. He goes, and I'm like, I went to get my backpack, Dad. I went to get my backpack from her house, and he's like lifts the backpack up. Wow, 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 wow. And I'm like, and I'm saying, chill out, chill out, chill out, the <laughs> And dude, it was like. 
It was like probably six in the evening, man. So like the neighbors are outside watering the grass. And I'm under just getting my ass beat, dude. Dude. So, man, dude. So it's and then I walk you in. You a little Chris? Yeah. yeah like, Chris. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> and I remember walking in. I go, Mom, Dad just oh, paid me. Dad just paid me for everybody, Mom. And, and and, and, and Junior in high school, dude. Junior Audrey, in high school. Audrey was looking through the blinds like this. Man, and you know what? Y'all broke up. <laughs> I, don't think she, I don't think she ever knew what uh, happened. If she yeah. listens to your show, she's going to yeah. know I got spanked that one time. Uh, but because of her. Uh, <laughs> hope, you, hope that French kiss was worth it, I'm bro. telling you, man. <laughs> Literally, just for a French kiss. Just one French kiss, bro. Fuck that was You know what, man? It was worth it. Nah, <laughs> man, well, at the time, it was. But yeah, my dad beat my ass. And that's dude. the thing that, like, you're a junior, right? So it, it more hurt your feelings than actual physical. It was so like, embarrassing, physical, dude. Like, yeah. I was crying. But I wasn't crying because it, yeah, hurt, it yeah. hurt. Yeah, because it hurt. Mom, Dad just stay in front of everybody, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, bro. God, I, I was already driving, junior in high school, everything, man. Yep. Damn, dude. And I told him, I was, like, I was just getting my backpack. <laughs> I went to go pray the rosary. <laughs> you still stuck with the life? Yeah. Well, I did. I did go pray the rosary, but... You know, and you got your backpack, and I had my back. And I'm wondering, dude, like now that I'm thinking about it, I I didn't get the back. I just had it in the car, yeah. so you know, I had like some kind of some props. Yeah, yeah. I had props and shit. And when I was in the 11th grade, I would walk in with 30 packs of Budweiser, and just oh, put them down in the. And I'm over there getting go spanked. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. In 11th grade, I was getting like Playboy magazines sent to my house. <laughs> and I was looking to get a French kiss. <laughs> yeah, and your dad was like, these are nice. <laughs> my dad was like, your cochinadas are on the table. <laughs> For real? Yeah. He goes, but I kept the same one. <laughs> and and, and oh, even dude, my uncles, that was a good one. my mom's brothers would come to the house and be like, hey, you got the same Playboy yet? <laughs> For, For real, real, dude. Like, Damn, I dude. had Playboy subscription like my ninth grade year. Really? All the way through, <laughs> all the way through like two years after high school. That's bad, hey, dude, dude, I was I was this close to Sable's titties uh, one time. <laughs> For real? They, and they were in the top, but, but I was still. Uh, I was yeah. I was that close, <laughs> and I was in high school, right? Uh, I'll, no, I'm good. Uh, so I was in high school, right? And uh, WCW had just uh, gone under, right? Mm-hmm. And so everybody needs to go to the WWE, and the ones that didn't, well, they started a new uh, wrestling or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they did a round at the at the fairgrounds. And so they're doing a meet and greet. And uh, so they, we had like a list of all the wrestlers that were going to be doing the meet and greet. And Sable's when I was like, well, I'm fucking there. I'm in bro. that line, yeah. I'm in, the, I'm in that motherfucker. So I'm waiting in line. And then all of a sudden, uh, now uh, I'm next. And I'm, uh, well, what happened was you when. got titsmatized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I snapped out of my trance. Apparently, I was just standing there staring at her tits. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably used to it. And, and then I was like, and I shook my head and I was like, oh, fuck. I was just staring at her tits and she's, she's looking at me square in the eyes and she's like, she already knows. Cheers and I was like, no, I'm so, and she goes, just give me your paper. And like, I had a picture of her, right? And I was like, I no, like hey, the- can I autograph your tits? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, let me she, autograph didn't, she, she didn't even let, uh, let me finish talking. She signed it. She goes, she goes, you, you can go now. I was like, no, but. They're just out, and I was looking at her. <laughs> she goes, "Next." She get, what was she wearing, dude? She was wearing this little low top thing, like probably I'm, black I'm, leather and shit. Yeah, it was. She's asking and, and for it. So her big ass titties were like, but you know, they're sweaty top. too. With the no, black leather. She, well, they mm. might have been, but <laughs> this is this is uh, when she was just sitting down, being calm or whatever. But God Almighty, I was just like, I I got in a she trance. Was, she's another level hot, dude. Back yeah. then, yeah, yeah, she really was. But, I mean, what do you expect? Your tits are out. Yeah, Fuck. and that's what yeah. I told her. I said, but they, they're they're just out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you do when you pick out your outfit. So. I uh, I've got a shit ton of ass whippings, but there's not one that stands, stands out, out that was like a complete like, oh man, they went to town on me. Yeah. Uh, I, but dude, you're probably this big when you're in junior <laughs> high. Bro. Like, what are they gonna I, do well, to you? You I, know what I, I really mean? I really think so because uh, they would hit me and like I would just like have a straight face, right? I was like, you know that that doesn't do anything <laughs> to me, right? So uh, and, <laughs> so they locked the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I was like, not the fridge. <laughs> Motherfuckers! We gotta depart something. I was thinking about they like, oh, you've been this big since junior high. Spanking ain't gonna do shit yeah. to you. So probably seventh grade was the last time they uh, they had to waterboard you. Or 
something. And they're like, <laughs> quit doing bad stuff. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Mira, cabrón, we're gonna lock the fridge. <laughs> you don't stop fucking. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get spanked all the time, dude. All the time. Oh yeah, I got ass whippings daily, but that that fucking time leaving Walmart, man. Fuck, I. But you deserved it. Well, I, I, I did because you know I fucking stole. I really did, but I didn't intend to steal the shit. I just fucking forgot, and oh yeah. And then they, I had, you know what? No lie. I had to go to fucking juvenile for that. I had to do the same shit. I had to go report would. like once a week or once a month. Teen court? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. You're going to teen court? Like, yeah. What the Avenue fuck? J, Tip and J. I had to yeah. go to teen court. And my dad was like, you're going you're gonna to end up a low life and blah. I'll just, I will always remember him just telling me how much of a piece of shit I was on the over, ride home. Over a belt? Yeah, over a belt. <laughs> And then he whooped the living fucking shit out of me. Dude, I, I had to do the community service because of Flams, dude. He stole gum at Amigos. It was before it was Amigos. We went to Cavazos. We'd go across. We would go uh, to United and get those electronic gaming monthly uh, magazines. But we wouldn't get them. We would write the codes down. Like, oh, or like yeah, the yeah. fatalities for yeah, Mortal yeah, Kombat. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They I had them at the, the magazine thing, right? So we would go to, uh, we'd go and we'd write them down. And then we had a keyboarding class. So we'd go and then we'd type out all the fatalities and the cheat codes and stuff, print them out and sell them to people. Damn. You know what I mean? So that's what we would do anytime a new game came out or whatever. So I thought that's what we got in trouble for. But uh, so we were walking out and the same thing, dude, the police officer. I remember that dude still to this day when I see him. I'm like, dude, just fuck you, man. Like, I still remember him <laughs> because he's still a cop. But I mean, because we we're little kids, dude. And like he manhandled us, bro. He picked us up and pushed us against the wall. And I was like, oh, fuck, we got busted for <laughs> writing down the cheat codes. Well, no, nah, Flams was putting gum under his sleeve. He had, a like, a long sleeve polo. So he was putting, like, the winter the fresh, 25, the 25 cents. Was, he was shoving them up under his sleeve. And, and uh, I had, all he had to do was be like, hey, he didn't know. Nope. We both did community yeah, service yeah. that summer, dude. Aww. That motherfucker. Nah, I know. Yeah. I, I like, told we him. We both going. I told him, too. I said, man, why didn't you tell him I didn't know, man? Yeah. He goes, I don't know. I was scared. <laughs> so meanwhile, I had 90 hours of community service, Damn. dude. 90 hours, bro. Yep. Well, they never found you with gum. How the fuck are they going to arrest Because the you? cameras made it look like I was his accomplice. Because, you know, I'm a chatty Cathy, bro. I talk uh, to everybody. So when he's stealing them, I'm turned around talking to whoever, you know, and it, the, the camera made it look like I was his lookout. Damn, bro. And then who's the whole ass bitch that was slamming your ass? So uh, we can call his ass. I don't out. remember his name, dude, but uh, I still recognize that fool. And I see it was a it's little like a, short uh, Mexicano. Like LPD? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was LPD. Was it I don't know his name. And he, like he, dark he, got, Mexican. he had like a like the Eric Estrada haircut, like kind of feathered back. You know, you know, that's probably the same yeah. dude, man. Uh, he used to do that to his wife. He used to beat her up, right? <laughs> oh, you put him on blast. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy yeah. Yeah, it probably was him. He's though. probably a fan of the show. Uh, yeah, uh, he turned it off now. <laughs> One star rating. <laughs> At least I'll get someone to rate the fucking show from now. On. Shit, yeah, man. I can't get new ratings for shit, dude. Y'all give him a five star uh, rating, please. Yeah. <laughs> and leave a review. Uh, before we go to break, man, I want to ask y'all, what's one piece of advice that anyone's ever given you given you that stuck? One piece of advice, because, you know, you get advice and, and, I, and I use it, right? But one that really, really stuck in my head was never be cheap on your own health. Mm. He goes, don't, like, if you have something and you feel like you're not well, go to the doctor and however much it costs pay for it i'm just starting to be like that at 41 it, i'm starting yeah, to be like that you have to you have to go get your checkups you have to go uh, mm -hmm. get your teeth done whatever the heck and if you're sick or you're whatever make sure that you pay money for your health he goes uh he goes if you want to be frugal with anything else do it he goes but you have to stay alive and and if you don't pay money when you're sick, then you're not going to be alive. So what's the mm -hmm. point? Yeah. And how many times when we were kids did you hear that? If he had just gone to the doctor, uh -huh. he'd yeah. still mm -hmm. be alive. Bro, I just started being, being that way, dude, because I, I hate, hate going to the doctor for anything. I'll just be like, I'll just take some over-the-counter medicine, whatever. I just yeah. hate it because I hate waiting, dude. I hate, like, you go in, you sign in, you got to wait. Then they tell you to be at a certain time, you sign in, you got to wait. It's just a pain in the ass. Yeah. But then I'm like, I've been paying insurance forever and, you're not using and I don't it. use it yeah. and then yeah. now like that's the only reason how I knew I had COVID dude because I wasn't going to go to the doctor I was just yeah. like I was like I just feel like shit it'll pass in a, in a day you know it's whatever and then uh my wife's like no if you've got 104 fever you need to go and get God it. Damn, 104 bro. yeah 
She's like, you need to go to the doctor. So, yeah. I, I, cause I didn't want to miss work, you know, and nah. I was fixing to go on vacation. So like, nah, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just go. And I'm glad I did. But why don't you want to miss work, bro? It's not, it's no, because, here's the uh, deal. this is why I ask mm-hmm. because you don't want to miss work. Right. But you're sick, dude. Let's just say push comes to shove. You got to miss work because your health goes to shit. Mm-hmm. They're going to replace. You oh yeah. Like and that. it's not even, it's not cause like I'm trying to be a company man. I don't want my co like these, my coworkers or my friends. I don't want them to have to pick up my slack. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like we're like, we're a band of brothers. That sounds corny, but it's true. Like I, I don't ever want them to have to pick up because I'm on that other end sometimes where I got to pick up somebody else's yeah. slack. I don't want to be that guy. I get that. But too. I've seen it, dude. I, I I'll that. never forget, man. I was a, there was this guy, uh, and because I was like one of those dudes, like like a company man, right? For the longest time, man. Like I took pride in my work, try not to call in, all this shit. And then uh, I'll never forget, man, this dude retired. So he was a good guy, man. And uh, he came, he brought his wife and his son. Uh, they were, they uh, brought him a cake and stuff. They gave him a little wooden mailbox, and they're like, all right, thanks for your 40 years or whatever, and sent him on his way. And I'm like, damn, this dude, like, he had a heart attack out on the route. You know, like, the dude probably, he left it all there for the company, and this is what they Crazy, give you. Bro. Ever since then, I was like, oh, no. Nah. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it, it was just like a, like a reality check when I saw that shit. I'm like, wow, this is yeah. what they do. And the next day, they replaced them. You know, that's just oh, how yeah. it goes. They just replaced it the next day. Oil, bro. Yeah. And there, there was a, a crew that had came home, bro, like right after I had quit. You know, winter season had hit. And there was a crew of five people because it's a five-man crew plus your, you know, your uh, your rig manager or whatever. So it's six of them on the floor at all times, right? But it's a, five, a crew of five that are actually doing the work. They were coming home, and in Brownfield, they hit a patch of ice, flipped the truck. And out of the, out of the five, uh, only one survived. Damn. That night, they had another crew out there, bro. Ready to go. Yeah. Show must go on. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yep. It's wild, bro. It, it's crazy how you're nothing to these companies, bro. You're a, you're a number. Yeah. You're, just, you're a number. You're, you're, we're cattle. We're livestock. Yeah. 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 And the, the one piece of advice that I got goes trickles off of this, bro, says, you know, take risks because if you don't take risks, you're going to work for someone who does, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Man, for sure. that's a bar yeah, right so, there. Yeah, that that's so true. Like, that's that's been... My motto since day one, but I was always afraid to take that risk. Bro. Me too. That, that I mean, saying's the same for a reason. Afraid, that scared bro. money don't make money. Yeah. You know, you gotta I take a chance. Always like I, I would rather get up, bust my ass for eight hours, get off of work, and then go grind. I was never that dude to say, you know what, I'm just gonna quit my regular job and just do it until. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm, Man, I'm you just know? now learning that to bet on myself. Because yeah, because you're I, never going to screw yourself I'm over. I'm never going to fuck yeah. myself over. <clears throat> yeah, yeah The dude. only person that will root for you more than anybody else is yourself. Bro. Yeah, and our moms. And maybe your dad. Yeah, and your mom. And our mom. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, who was it? San Juan that said something like, <clears throat> your dad's the only person that always, that hopes that you do better than him. Than him, yeah. Yeah, dude, I was yeah. like, man, that, that's, that's, that's a bar. Real like, I saw that, I was like, when he said that, I was like, man, that is so true, dude. Yeah, yeah. man, because <clears throat> I would like to think that my dad would have wanted me to better my life better than his because I think that, and he's my stepson, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, God didn't grace me with a child of my own, but he's mine. Mm -hmm. You know, he's my fucking boy. Mm -hmm. And I, on his ass, I'm on his ass like my dad was on my ass. Mm -hmm. So if he thinks of me the way I think about my dad, and right now in his time in life, I, I won because, like I said, man, my dad, I thought he hated me. And then it wasn't until I was a young adult that I realized, fuck, he was preparing me for life. Mm-hmm. Oh, but love. but mm-hmm. I would like to think that um, I, he, anyways, that, that's another. But I would think, I do believe that I want him to be better than me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really yeah. do, for real. Yeah. But my grandpa, <laughs> this fucker, man, and it was, it was, I don't even know if it was advice, but it was, it was, tattooed on my brain as advice but i'm crying to him i'm like man grandpa i worked all summer and blah 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 blah, and i spent all my money i mean i saved all this money and my truck broke and now i gotta spend all my money that i worked all summer for to fucking fix my truck and he was like mijo that's life he goes mijo (laughs) that's what you save money for yep and i was like what like i didn't want to hear that you know like you want to save money yeah. so you can blow but he it. he was like, yeah. no, mijo, that's what you worked for because in case shit happened, you got mm-hmm. the money to fix it and you're still right where you are. 
And yep. I'm like, fuck, Grandpa. And being a grown up fuck, sucks. Yeah, I'm like, why <laughs> yeah. the fuck did you hit me with the wise knowledge like that? Mm-hmm. Because I was like, I wanted you to be like, yeah. How old were you when that happened? When you heard I think that? I was like a sophomore. No, I was a junior because that was my, my first truck and it fucked, it fucking went to shit. Yeah. You're getting knowledge and I'm getting spanked in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> we were juniors in high school. <laughs> yeah, dude. And he was like, that's what you work for. And I was like, fuck, man. Yeah, but it's, it's smart. That's knowledge. And, and yeah, and it, it, it's been, it stuck with me because, and even then I'll tell anyone with their sad story, I'd be like, bro, that's what you save money for. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, I was saving money for a trip. Yeah, well, that's what you save money for, bro. And you're, look where yeah. you're at. You're still in the same yeah. position you are now. Mm-hmm. You yep. didn't, it didn't set you back. Like you're not going backwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it didn't yeah. set you back at all. That's good yeah. shit. So, yeah, but before we go, you got any I advice? can't really, like, when you sent me that, I was like, man, like, the, the one thing that my dad, like, instilled in me, dude, is just to be kind to everybody. And I know that's like an easy answer, but it's true. He's like, just treat, you know, like you, you see these memes and stuff on like with like Tom Hardy smoking a cigar or yeah, like yeah, yeah. treat the custodian as much as you is the same way you treat the owner of the company. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was brought up that way. Like I just yeah. and I think that's why uh, like uh, I, I have so many friends. Like so I just treat everybody. But like, I want to ask you this. Mm-hmm. With that, with that being said, do you know how to turn it off? I can't. I have a hard time. I'm a people pleaser, dude. And See, I have a real like I'm, like I'm like Thomas like says that you know I'm Tom, like you, yeah, bro. I have a real hard time turning it off, man. And like if uh, if I don't fuck with you, if there's yeah. a reason why. No, but you know, I'm like you, that, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm like you, but I know how to turn it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I know if you're taking my fucking kindness for weakness, I can turn it off and match your fucking energy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I need to be yeah. better at that because like like I, you're not pulling the wool over my eyes. No, yeah. I'm not yeah. boo boo the fool. Like yeah. I I recognize what you're doing, but I'll just just let it ride. You know. Yeah, yeah. man. So I mean, there there's a. There's a person that, um, dude, I'm nice to everybody, bro. Mm-hmm. I really am. But there's a person that, like, you know, I've heard and I've known through the grapevine that's, you know, been a shit talker about, you know, my wife, bro. Mm-hmm. And I'm a people pleaser, bro. Mm-hmm. But when I see that person, I'm like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. You know, I turn it off. And yeah. I, I let it be known. Like, fuck you. I don't mm-hmm. fuck with you. Mm-hmm. And... I get it, like, you know, people be like, why are you such an asshole? Well, f- I'm an asshole to that one person. Mm-hmm. Everyone yeah. else. They earned it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And even, like, at a, at a, we went to a, something comes to mind when hey, you tell just me who it that. is right now in front yeah. of the camera. I'm no, just, I'm just <laughs> but something just comes to you. mind when I just said that. <laughs> like, we were at Christakis, bro, and uh, everyone's ordering, and it's a good thing, and then my wife goes up there, and she's being a bitch to my wife. So then I'm next, and I fucking match her energy. I'm mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? Like, fuck you. And, oh, I'm like, change your shit. Like, it was to, yes, sir, yes, sir. Like, But, blah, like, it's blah. so easy like, for them to be that way, you know? Yeah. yeah. Why, why I will just, match yeah. your yeah. fucking energy quick as shit, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But I'll start off nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be better at that, because that's one thing, like. Yeah, dude. You, if, you, if I'm going to wow out on it, it's for a reason. Like, you got to really piss me yeah. off. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, you 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 for sure always a hundred percent got to defend yours, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, I I want to be nice to everybody, but uh, the moment that I see the the little switching, oh, man, it's you got to flip the script. Oh man, it's uh, I'll I'll be in charge of the conversation from here <laughs> yeah. on out because yeah. we're not doing yeah. that yeah, yeah. for sure, bro. Mm-hmm. But we'll take a break. We'll come right back, man. And we're back. So uh, before we left, uh, we did some. Some uh, talking about some advice that we've received as as you know through our lifetime or whatever. But I wanted to ask you um, when you guys are like someone pisses you off or when you're in rage, do y'all fuckers swing y'all sword or are you reserved? Uh, depends on the uh, the situation. Depends on the the person or what's happening, where I'm at. But uh, if if I want to, I, I'm for sure going to swing that motherfucking sword. I, yeah. To cut you off real quick, bro, we've been boys for 20 plus years. Really, truly, legit. I've only really seen you piss like twice. Mm-hmm. And you're fucking pit, like. Oh yeah, if if I think it's warrant, dude, uh, I I am going to one hundred percent let you know. Now, not every single time might end up be a fight, but just me fucking saying my pendejadas that's yeah. coming out of my mouth 
might be your warning that like today like, is not one one of those days you want to fight. So we're at um, Bash Rip Rocks, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we're this was like UFC before it was UFC. So it was just like coming, like it was just mm-hmm. on the an, on the an, on ramp. And, the the uh, twenty five dollar pay per views. Hell yeah, dude! And they so we're at like Bash Rip Rocks, and shit. right? I have no idea what's going on, but I know there's a commotion, and um, it's this fucking young ass kid with his mom, and this. It's just going back and forth throughout the entire pay per view, and before the main event happens, shit pops off. I've never seen this dude, and he's been my best friend for years, in a rage as much as I've seen him in a rage that fucking night. What, what, what caused it? They he he never up? he never shut the fuck up. Nah. Like, we're trying to hear commentary, we're, and he just, this motherfucker is just, yeah, 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 yeah. We're like, hey, Doug, shut the fuck up already, dude. Sit down. Shut up. All right, whatever. And then, yeah, 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 dude. It, it drove you fucking insane. So... At this particular moment, dude, I, I want to fucking just slap the fucking shit out. And I didn't slap him uh, like I wanted to slap him earlier, but I also wanted to see the fucking goddamn pay-per-view, right? I wanted to see the the end. Like, if I slap the shit out of him, like, You're gonna miss it. I'm going to miss it, right? So I'm like, this motherfucker. And everybody is like, shut up. Shut up. And so I remember uh, that, that uh, main event is about to end, right? And get up and say, hey, dude, shut the fuck up already. God damn it. Now we're just like, I, now I'm ready because this motherfucker is over. And I remember his mom was like, y'all need to calm down and shut up and blah, blah, blah. And like, you shut the fuck up. Uh, you raised this dumb motherfucker <laughs> right here. <laughs> and I go, this whole, I go, you even know your own son is obnoxious. I said, shut this little motherfucker up before we shut him up. Like, shut his ass up. You're a fucking terrible yeah, why mother. Why bring your mom to the bar to watch you <laughs> in the first shit, place, dude? Though, you know what I mean? She was probably like our age right dude, now. Dude, a college, <laughs> college, college right bar. Right it was bad trip <laughs> rocks. Yeah, bro. like, yeah. why are you Main bringing Street. your mom? Yeah, so, and I understand a mom defending her son, but <laughs> you also got to be, like, slapping the shit out of it. Like, you're talking about ass whippings? Like, mom was should have slapped the shit out of it. Hey, dude, shut the fuck up, dude. The, the dude's like, yeah, dude's yeah the, these motherfuckers are big-ass Mexicans. Like, the room. shut the fuck up. And it's not even that we're big-ass Mexicans. There's, like, 18, and you're just by yourself, dude. Like, shut the fuck up. Dude, I, I was not happy I, in that, that fucking moment. So, it's, it's Eric. Eric's been this size since Junior I can high. remember, you I'm know? You, yeah. So I already know he doesn't need my help. And I think he's joking. And then he gets up and he's like, motherfucker, meet me outside. JP's like, I got his And mom, then bro. I was I just it. like, yeah, I'll get the wall. <laughs> I got her. I got to hold her back. And so it was then when he was like, meet me outside, bitch. When I realized, oh, Eric ain't fucking around. You know what I mean? Because no. I've never seen this dude like that much in rage. So he's outside. I don't know if you've ever been to Bash Rip Rocks on Maine, yeah. but that, that window that looks in, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he's there, like, telling this motherfucker through the window, come out. Well, him and his mom call the cops. Oh, like, they don't, they don't no, come dude. out. And then so I fucking run out, and I'm like, bro, they just call the cops. We need to get the fuck out of here. He's like, fuck that motherfucker. I'm going to whoop his fucking ass. And I was just like, bro, chill. I get it. Chill the fuck out, but we need to fucking go. And we fucking hear sirens or whatever, and then yeah, we fucking break, th- break. Hey, all right, one, two, three, break. We fucking go to our cars and we oh, bounce. Hell no. I never seen my boy that fucking enraged, never. <laughs> and we fought together, like we've we've been in fights, many a fights That's together. That's all it took, like, just some dudes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, some of these fights that uh, I've been in, um, I wasn't enraged. I just. Oh, fuck, we, we got to fucking fight, right? <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom, boom. But there has been some fights where I was like, oh, no, I'm going to fucking annihilate <laughs> yeah. this motherfucker right yeah, here. We've been, we've been in some of those, bro, at uh, Grand Central Station. At Grand? <laughs> bro. We're walking out one night, bro, and uh, you know how they cut the lights on or whatever? I don't know what we're doing, bro, but this dude's in front of us, and then he turns around and, like, I don't know, some something happens, bro. And he called my wife, oh, you fucking bitch, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, it's cool. And then, like, we're fixing to, you know, square up. And then, like, you know, people break it up or whatever. So we go to the truck. It's me and my homeboy David, bro. 
me, my homeboy David, my wife, and then David's girl, right? So we're driving around, and, and like, dude, I'm driving up and down the parking lot looking for this dude, bro. And my wife's like, I hate whenever you're trying to floss and blah. I was like, nah, <laughs> hey, I'm on the mission. You know what I'm, I'm looking for this dude, bro. Yeah. Man, I find this dude, bro, and I pull up, and I like, I just kind of like, you know, saying, skirt. I get off, bro, and then this dude, he's like, oh, I said, what's up, bro? I said, what's up? Man, I just like, I, I grabbed him by the neck, and I put my feet behind his feet, and I like choked oh, him. The oh, the oldest trick yeah. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, and I got him, bro. Bad ass. Like, it, was, it was game over, That'd bro. That'd be badass if your homeboy David Wayne is squatting behind him, and you <laughs> push him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He needed, he needed <laughs> that. He needed yeah, that. The bad ass. Like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, we get off, bro, and like, man, it, it, it turned bad, bro. Really? It was bad. My homeboy, uh, Daniel David's brother, busted his... Mm. Uh, like broke his hand on this dude's face, bro. Oh, shit. yeah, yeah. So th- that was the first time I've ever seen him enraged. Second time and the last time I've ever seen him enraged is, uh, I guess he had been looking for some dude because he fucked him over because he was a co-signer on the loan, and that'll he, do it. He found him. <laughs> that'll do he it. He found him at the <laughs> library and because he'd been fucking up, wasting on, your money. Yeah, yeah he'd been fucking yeah. up on that. <laughs> and I guess he confronted him, but the dude like bucked up to him. And, dude, it was fucking green light. And I really thought we were all about to go to jail because, I mean, I'd be damned if I let my boy fucking <laughs> fight his crew by himself. But I was just shocked that we didn't go to jail that night. And I was just like, I had yeah, never we, seen we that had, motherfucker yeah. that enraged. And I had just seen him at Bash's more. I was like... I was like, man, remind me to never get on this motherfucker's like, bad this side. This got anger problems. <laughs> man. You got anger issues, man. Yeah. Well. But that's the only fucking two times I've ever seen my boy enraged. And like I said, we fought a million fucking yeah. times together. But. Well, I've got a stupid story about how I got enraged one time, dude. <laughs> so uh, my wife and I just moved into our house. We had just moved in. And uh, like brand new, like second day, I'm hanging TVs up. Right? And so, uh, you know, you find you find a stud. Yeah, you know, yeah. holds the wall. So... I'm hanging a TV up in one of the in the in the extra room, and so I'm in there marking the studs, all that, and I'm drilling a hole, and it just goes. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? I miss a stud, and I'm pissed because it's a brand new house, and there's a hole in the wall already. I'm like, God dang it, dude! (laughs) So I go and I'm trying to find the other one. I find the stud. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? So there's two big holes where I miss the stud, and dude, I lose it. So I'm looking for something. I have to punch something, you know, (laughs) like to get my anger out. And so I'm looking for something to punch. I'm not going to punch the wall. It's a brand new house. Yeah, yeah. So I'm jumping around like, motherfucker. I just go, pa! I fucking punch you myself. You hit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shit you not, dude. And I just go, pa! And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> fuck! That shit hurt! And Jennifer comes running. She's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And the like, wall my face is me. all red. I'm like, look at those fucking holes in the wall. And she's like, why is your face red? You know, I'm like... I punched my holes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I said it not even think. I was like, I just fucking punched myself. Look at those holes. And she goes, You did what? And I go, Look at the holes. Like, God dang, it's a brand new house. And uh, she goes, Did you say you just punched yourself? I go, Yes. You're concentrating on the wrong shit. Yes, I know. And I was like, What do you want to do? Punch a hole in the wall? Either I, wish- I punch like a bitch or I can take a punch. It's one or the other, dude. I wish you would have punched the wall and then the stud. And you would have been done. And then I found the damn stud, dude. Gotcha. Could you? That's probably exactly what would happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then after the fact, I like it's funny, dude. I'm like, really? Like, like it's like that scene on a, it's a on Fight Club when he uh, goes to the boss and he pretends he he, he beats himself up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was me. That yeah. freaking punch myself right in the face, dude. So gro- stupid shit. Growing up, bro, like growing as as like a young adult growing up, not like when I was young. I've said some hurtful, hateful shit because you know the pandejos, bro. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you learn to make a pun out of everything. Oh yeah. But when you're enraged, it's a hateful pun. <laughs> them hate puns. Right? You, you know got them I mean? hate puns. Yeah, 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 you sure. get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm that dude. Like I'll fucking low blow you like mm-hmm. a motherfucker. Ooh, so let me find out. <laughs> so with with you know being married and like being like totally in love and infatuated with my wife. I want to re- like resort to that old me mm-hmm. to low blower, but you're not you're not supposed to fight like that, bro. You're not. Yeah. But she don't understand that I'm being quiet because I don't want to low it's blow her. It's in there. I don't yeah. want to low blow her, and she's like, when you we fight and we argue, you just shut down. But you got to understand that it takes me a while to cool down 
and I don't want to low blow you. Because mm-hmm. I'll low blow you, and then it, it's even it, bigger fight. It's a bigger fight. It's something that could have been like resolved that night. It's gonna carry over for a little while. So, so, like, so like the low blows, is it is it like um, some past issues or or it's it's basically whatever. Like I can call you ho ass bitch. You it's, know, your it yeah, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, it's your insecurities, bro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's your insecurities that I can that, just so so shit that she's told you. Yeah. In confidence. Like, in confidence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then you. That yeah, okay. I'm so yeah. enraged yeah. and I want to hurt you as bad that so as I feel that, hurt. Yeah. Like you and yeah. your old fungus just... toenail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Who's supposed to bring that up? That I can't, yeah, I can't lose, lose this never fight. never did karate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> that I can't lose the fight, yeah. right? It's it's machismo. And I, yeah. I'll admit 100% it's machismo. I don't want to lose a fight. But I also love my wife so much that I don't want to destroy the the little small empire that we've built in our marriage to just low blow her, but it's in me to do that. So I shut the fuck up. Man, I think I, I everybody's kinda, got that in yeah. them. It's just a matter of suppressing it. So, you so have there's to suppress this, I shut the yeah. fuck up. There's yeah. this dude that, that we're, you know, that we're close to, but the little, the little slightest bit of dirt that he has on you, bro, the moment you piss him off, he he throws it out there. Oh, that's hell me. no. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. me, bro. Anything, bro. When I'm mad, I want to resort to that mm-hmm. little bit of... Small shit that I can low blow you with. Bro, we were podcasting he's got, last he's got night, a little bro. Notepad. He writes shit down <laughs> hey, just in case. We were podcasting last night, bro, and I don't know what what was said, bro. But he took a shot at some dudes in Dallas, mm-hmm. like talking about, you know. Uh-huh. And he's like, "Yeah, it's not like the two one four and everybody caught it, bro. After uh-huh. the phone started blowing up, like, damn, did he just really say that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He, and then this other homeboy said, "Hey, man, like the thing about that dude is that." If he knows anything about you, bro, you know what I'm saying? The, the moment that you cross him, it. he's throwing it out. He's there, got bro. it in the chamber ready to yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ready to go, bro. And you I know don't... who's like that? Freaking Mike, dude. Yeah. Mike, he'll he'll like but, but he's it, a comedian. That's how they say he'll light you uh, up, but it's presence. it's it's out of a it's fun. Like yeah. yeah. Like there's shit that I've told Mike like in confidence, and he'll fucking make fun of me about it. You know what I mean? But it's never like a uh, ill mannered. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's not ill willed. I mean, yeah, you know, nah, it's just this, for this for fun. Would, yeah, this would try to destroy. And you. and that's why, like, if I ever have conflict with someone, it it. I guess it's a good practice for me to bite my tongue. I'll be like, yeah, cool, whatever. But it's totally. It's like that meme. You see that meme where it's uh it's him holding the golden ticket. You ever see that shit? <laughs> when you find out somebody doesn't have custody of their kids, yeah. it's him holding the golden yeah, ticket, yeah, like, yeah. say something. But that's totally in me to low blow you. Mm-hmm. Especially when you come at me, I'm going to win. Mm-hmm. I want to win. Like, mm-hmm. I want to make you feel bad for opening your fucking mouth mm-hmm. and coming at me. But I want to be the bigger person, so I just shut the fuck up. And for whatever, you want to take me as a pussy or whatever, but I value... My marriage, my friendships, my whatever it mm-hmm. is, because I'll tell you what, my low blow for anything, and I've let it be known for any anybody that knows me knows you don't call me fat. I don't know what it is, but it's a low blow to me, and it's caused many a fights, like mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. literal fights. I don't fucking do that, dude. Like none of my boys, I know I'm big. Don't call me fat, bro. If you call me fat, you're not my boy, and I'm going to fuck you up. So that being said, I got to be an adult now, and I can't fucking... So I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just shut down because it's easier for me to shut down rather than to low blow you and then just it pop off and be a bigger yeah. fucking... Mm. So, so let's say <clears throat> somebody does come at you sideways, right? Yeah. And then you bite your tongue, right? It's a night, you're, you're drinking, everything's... And that kind of just puts a damper on the whole thing, right? Yeah. Would you approach him the next day and be like, hey, bro, you know, last it, night what it'll, you said? It'll take you know? a few days for me to cool down, bro. Yeah. Because I'll be enraged for like a week. Yeah, see, that's how I am too, bro. Like somebody somebody recently said something about me and it's, it's like, it's stupid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't, honestly, bro, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you say what you want, bro. Like, but... It's it's not that it pissed me off. It's just the the matter of fact that like I invite you into my house, bro. We're mm-hmm. doing this, what we're doing right now. I've offered to cook for you, and then like just because I don't do business with you, then you're gonna cross me and say you know talk shit about me, bro. But I'm the type of dude that I'm not gonna throw slugs on Facebook or anything like that, bro. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call. 
whatever. Hey, that video fucking kicked out whatever the fuck. Uh, it cut out short. <laughs> so, uh, uh, sorry, man. On the behalf of uh, the JP Lopez show, go listen to that shit on Apple or Spotify. And... Uh, uh, my bad, but it fucking it fucking happened. Whatever, it happens. Uh, technical difficulties, man. Till next time, motherfucker. Power grid. Shit the bed on the power grid, bro. Till next time, motherfuckers, man. Read some books. Oh hey, didn't see you there. This episode is brought to you by DJ Kipo. DJ Kipo handles all things like weddings, quinceaneras, anniversaries, and graduations. Um, He's good at what he does, keeps the party going, and um, hit him up on IG, TikTok at DJ Kipo 806. Once again, that's DJ K-E-E-P-O 806. Oh, it's you again. This episode is brought to you by Patriot Paint and Construction. They specialize in commercial and residential. They also specialize in drywall and paint. No job is too big or too small for them. Hit them up at... 806-544-7199. Oh, you're still here? This episode is brought to you by Tigre Burrito, located at 720 Highway 62 in Wolford, Texas. They're open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. They specialize in breakfast and lunch burritos. They've also got some plates. Um, tell them JP Lopez sent you, but... Um, Breakfast burrito is pretty fucking huge, so you better bring a big appetite. They're the shit.